uh, 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 presenting to those who uh, desire to have a closer walk with God, even through music. Uh, I found out music is very, very powerful, uh, Dr. Lacey. Now, <clears throat> I want you to know something concerning that. I am of the mindset <laughs> that music accentuates the worship. Yes, it does. And, and certainly, I thank God for music because music soothes whatever ails you. Yes, we must have the music. And I'm encouraging you to come out and support this musical at the Starlight Spiritual Temple. Come on out, clap your hands as they, as they say, and pat your feet and be a part of the worship experience emanating from the Starlight Church. But I am further of the mindset. I teach at the Deliverance Temple Church and it is our motto and our structure. We are word driven. It is not the song that saves, it soothes. It is the word that saves. Yes, sir. And of course we must have the word. Why are you saying that, Brother Lacey? I, the only reason I'm saying that is because I'm promoting Sacramento Theological Seminary Bible College. Yes. And yes, we do have, we do offer in our curriculum, practicum. And of course, I'm one of the instructors of practicum, and I'm meticulous concerning uh, the order of, and of course, the ordinances of our church. I believe that you must have word. Yes, if there is to be discipline in our church, our, our church, our congregants must be word driven. Yes, sir. If there is to be a developing church meeting the need of a pluralistic society, the church must be word driven. Without the preaching of the gospel, there is no salvific provision for man to turn from his degradation to the order of a Christ of reconciliation. And so we do stress word, word. We love that song. We love to praise. We love to harmonize. Of course, of course, we, we do know that the, the, the art of music is, what is it? Melody, harmony, and rhythm. Yes, sir. Yeah, 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 I gleam that. But <laughs> past that, we must be patient, be still, hold your peace. And hear in that there is a word from the Lord. Now, I do want to share with you some uh, crucialities in the light of intelligence. Uh, we have, I'm going to allow our public relations director to inform you concerning our registration date and uh, what we are offering in, in the light of uh, our registration. The date for our enrollment is when, Bishop? Yes, our enrollment will be August the 3rd. 2010. Our orientation will begin September the 7th, 2010 at 6 p.m. Surely. Also, and our semester will begin September the 9th, 2010, beginning at 6 p.m. All right, now, now we do want you to know, excuse me, our semesters are so designed, they're 12 hours a semester. 12 hours a semester. Uh, our commensurate semester will begin with Christian doctrine. Christian doctrine, homiletics, hermeneutics. And uh, please forgive me, but this is presidential. We are grateful unto the Lord for our general president, yes, sir. Bishop Bluin yes, of Sacramento. We are where we are because men such as Bishop Bluen has made sacrifice and inroads so that we can raise the bar 
and be the best that we can be, we have added to our creation. And because we have added to our creation the rigidity establishment of the accrediting agency has imposed upon us that we must teach traditional English and not just biblical English and traditional math and not just math from a churchology paradigm. So we are raising the bar. Come on out. Check us out. Look at us. And one thing I want to share with you, we're not an inundated numerical school where folk just running all over the place haywire. We are small institutions where the faculty will have personal touch with the student body. Normally all of my students, I know them by name and I have nurturing in sets with them where we can sit down and talk and I can get their feel if there are concerns. Certainly everybody go through certain adjustments and we want to be able to touch bases with you so that you don't drop out but that you continue. Sometimes hardships will set in but we want you to hang in there. Yes, sir. The race is not given to the swift. Help me when you can. Neither battle to the strong, but he that endureth to the end shall, is emphatical, be saved. And certainly we hold to that holistic word. All right, uh, Bishop Franklin, we want you to share with us in the light of what credentials we're offering and 